Hi there, welcome back. I'm Jerry and I was just sent this really cool strong shelf that I'm going to be putting together today. Thanks guys for sending that. This is a shelf that should be fairly easy to put together. It's 36 inches wide, 16 inches deep, and 72 inches tall, so it's six feet tall. So it's a good size shelf, has five optional shelves that you can put in there, each one holding about 500 pounds for a total capacity of 2,500 pounds. Let's go ahead and get this thing put together and show you how easy this is gonna be. Haven't even gotten in the box yet, but this is about 40 plus pounds, so it is a heavier shelf that you do have. All metal shelves. It does come packaged really well. It's got some foam in here. Got all the parts out here, got my five shelves. You're gonna come with eight of these structural support angle iron pieces that are gonna be for the corners. 10 of these smaller pieces for the sides of the shelves. 10 of the pieces, long pieces for the front and back of the shelves. Of course, the five shelves, your instruction guide, which is gonna be very helpful. They even sent you with a pair of gloves if you wanna be able to wear those and put those together, white gloves which is kind of nice. It also comes with a anti-tip bracket that you can mount on here, including the hardware that you can use to put into sheetrock and the screws. Also does come with these pieces you put on underneath for the feet and the top caps uh, on those, as well as the pieces for in between, which we're gonna be using once you get done with the first section to connect the second section, these pieces go in between. So let's go ahead and get started and get this thing put together. Now that we've got those four pieces put in, we're gonna take these and set them down. I've got these side pieces here for the shelf. You're gonna simply put those with the flat part facing up, put them in the eyelets and push down on those. I'm gonna start out on the bottom shelf and just go ahead and make a bottom shelf out of these. So putting these in the eyelets here like this and just pushing down. Now, as we go along and do this, they do provide you with this little hammer that you can use to tap those down. And I'm gonna then go ahead and take the longer ones to make the back shelf. And we're gonna be putting those on like this as well to go ahead and make the bottom set. Now that we've got that base plate just easily set in there, kind of was nice to tap it in with this hammer, making sure that all of those are locked in. You can go ahead and take one of these shelves. Again, this rib part's gonna to go to the bottom. I'm gonna slide it in here like so. And I'm just gonna do this on this bottom one here just to go ahead and just give it a little more stability. You can always put those in at the end. I'm just gonna put that bottom one on there for now just to kind of help keep it from shifting around on us. I'm gonna go ahead and do repeat this one next shelf. Now that the second shelf is in place, you've got these little pieces here. These are corner pieces that are actually gonna fit down here into these other corners. We're gonna tap those in. And then, then the other pieces will straddle the top of this. And then you're gonna use these pieces here to actually straddle both pieces. So it's gonna go in this bottom piece and the top piece, which is then going to lock those two pieces together and we'll continue on with our build. And we're gonna go and put the top one on here. Now these are nice and powder coated here. So everything has got a nice finish on there. It's kind of a hammered, hammered look on there. And then we've got these optional top pieces uh, that you can put in here in the top and we'll tap those in and then we'll be ready to load this thing up. This is going to be a great addition to any storage room or could be used as an addition to a pantry or somewhere upstairs because it is functional and stylish. It's a great opportunity to create some organization in your life. 